I've got a layer on my screen for Nigerian states. I've just turned on the labels for the states and we can see them there if I click OK. Uh, they're mostly OK, but the Federal Capital Territory label doesn't fit inside. So let's take a little look at different placement options. I'll move the map to the right. I'll double click Nigeria states again. For labels, we want to look at placement in this case and the different modes. So if we go offset from centroid and hit apply, it will put things pretty much in the exact center. If I click top right and hit apply or bottom left and hit apply, it'll move things around. So you could use that, which is putting it right in the middle. We can use a round centroid, which for some will be slightly different. We can use horizontal, which will just shuffle them around a little bit, different arrangement. We can use free, which probably will look a bit weird. Maybe even some will disappear. Okay. So that just fits them at uh, an angle. Using perimeter, again, slightly crazy. Using perimeter curved. Okay, not all of them will fit in. So there's lots of options here, many of which you won't use, but they do have their uses. And we can also use outside polygons. So in this case, we would obviously want to use something offset from centroid. Uh, and have it in the middle and hit apply. But these are the options we can use and that's where you can find them, in the label section and in placement. And one little tip that's really important but you might not know about it, this button, we can click that button and if you want to make sure it shows all labels including collisions, you can tick that box, making sure truncated labels on the edge of map are always going to be allowed as possible too. So some label placement stuff that you might find useful in your work.